What is cracking YouTube? It is Crypto and WO here back at it again with another video. Now in this video, it's the second time I'm doing this, but the first time has went relatively well. I got around 100,000 views on the first one, so it inspired me to make another mystery box video, unboxing a mystery box off the dark web. Uh, the first one, a lot of people had some things to say about it. Some people were like, why did you send this to your house? Are you crazy? Why didn't you send it to your PO box? I just want to let you guys know I didn't send it to my house. I'm not crazy. I sent it to a PO box. I got it from the PO box and um, the only thing I did wrong was I went immediately to go pick up the old mystery box right after it said like delivered at the PO box. But this one over here, it was delivered hours, hours ago earlier today and I have a 24 hour post office. I'm going to go pick it up from the post office now because I thought about it. If it was delivered immediately, maybe somebody was there waiting for someone to go pick up the package from the PO box. I don't know. I don't know. I'm always paranoid or whatnot. It's been a few hours. I think I'm going to go to the PO box now and just go pick up my, my mystery box. I'm very excited and at the same time, I'm kind of nervous. But before I get into that, guys, subscribe to Crypto and WO. Put on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Smash that like button, guys. I appreciate everyone who's liking all the videos. You guys are the best. All right. Uh, kind of worried. Again, third time I said it, but... It's, it's a mystery box. Like the first one wasn't that scary. It seemed like a whole, a guy just took a whole bunch of stuff out of his drawer and just spilled it into a box and just sold it to me for 150 Canadian dollars. Now this one over here, the first one cost 150 Canadian dollars. The second one, this one that I got cost 200 Canadian dollars. Now for the sake of me possibly emotionally terrorizing myself, again, guys, please smash that like button. Like it, it helps me more than you think. It'll make me like make more of these videos and just it cost me 150 or 200 Canadian dollars. That's not a lot of money considering that like these videos generate lots and lots of views. I see a whole bunch of YouTubers make them and they say like, like, oh, $5,000 mystery box, $10,000 mystery box, $20,000 mystery box. You know, for 150 or 200 Canadian dollars, I can definitely keep doing this for you guys if you guys like these videos. So again, smash that like button. It helps me more than you think. Let's get this show on the road. All right, guys, so the box is finally here. The box alone has a few markings on it that I'm gonna get into as I'm unboxing this, but uh, let's get this started. I'm a little nervous. Pretty nervous to be honest, but um. All right, so let's get this unboxing started. Uh, we're gonna get started by putting on these gloves. These are gonna come in handy if I need them, but right now we'll put them aside. But right now, wow, these are really small. Great, now we got the gloves on. We got a little X-Acto knife, whatever you wanna call these straight blades. Now I'm gonna get into the, before I open the box, like exactly open the box, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm not gonna show you guys where it came from because that's really stupid, but um, there's a couple of markings, markings on the box, like six, eight, five, four, seven, eight, three, three, six, zero, zero, two. I don't know if this is him leaving markings or the post office leaving markings. Another thing I noticed uh, is it's, it's using gray tape, looks like a uh, duct tape and then red duct tape, like a little red stamp. Very interesting. Oh, and on the four corners, there are these little, they look like stands. It looks like the stand for the box, like the box is literally like levitating off the ground right now. Great. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. So before I get started, I wanted to mention there's another camera here recording. Just um, it gets it just if I get a like better shot of everything. I kind of don't want to show the entire box because you know leave it for the unboxing video. But I don't know where to start right now. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna start with is where it says enjoy the snack. Goldfish, goldfish snacks. Had these a lot when I was a kid, but yeah, it just says enjoy the snack. Kind of weird. Everything that's going in the garbage, and I'm gonna try remembering this, and I'm not necessarily the best at remembering, but everything that's gonna go in the garbage is gonna go to my right, my right and your left. So I'm gonna just chunk that on the right, and everything that's, that I'm gonna keep that has some sort of value is gonna go to my left on the couch. I don't know if I should put anything on that couch. But getting started next, I don't know. Uh, we got a couple of dolls in here. We'll, we'll get started with the dolls. So. It's not a Barbie doll. It's a doll missing its right leg. You can see over here, uh, the doll is missing its right leg and it seems that there's markings on it. You can see over here on the doll, it has like markings on it. Like, like you know, when you're about to open like a meat package and it tells you, it traces the line in dotted lines for like cut here or something. It looks like somebody is trying to leave markings on this doll exactly where to cut it. It's no value with this for me, but um, put it aside because there's another doll. So this doll was missing its right leg and this doll over here, it's missing its right arm. Right arm, um, very, very weird. I guess, I don't know if, oh, uh, oh, and it's missing its left, it has a shoe and it's missing a left shoe and it has those same exact markings that the first one had on its leg. 
You can see over here, the markings, the same markings that were on this one's arm are on this one's leg and it's missing a heel. So uh, two Barbie dolls, Barbie looking dolls that are missing limbs. Very, very weird. Uh, we'll throw those in the garbage. Oh, speaking of the limbs, that's, so this, this one that was missing its arm, that's the arm over here. So I guess Barbie dolls without any limbs. Trying to, trying to be creepy. It's not that creepy, but I don't really, I don't like the implications of if I don't like the message that's trying to be said, you know, what, what are they trying to say to me? You see this one over here missing its leg and its heel and the heels are in a separate plastic wrap. That's very, very, very weird. Next, what we're going to get into is we'll go with the mask. Yeah, it's a mask. You guys can see over here. It's not Michael Myers mask. I'm trying to think of the best reference to this sort of mask. Buckethead, Buckethead. If you guys heard of Buckethead, I don't know if it's a heavy metal guitarist. Oh, I think I ripped it. But yeah, he, uh, Buckethead is a heavy metal guitarist who literally performs with something that looks like this sort of mask, like a blank mask. And he's wearing literally like a bucket on his head. I don't know if it was a KFC bucket. I don't know if it's actually like a bucket bucket, but Buckethead wears a bucket on his head. And he's a pretty cool guitarist. You guys should check him out. It's not Michael Myers, definitely not a Michael Myers mask. Okay, for my for my male fans that are watching this that go to barbershops, you guys should know what this is. A, a blade? I don't know what exactly what these are called. A barbershop blade? Oh, I can see some hair on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, there's some hair on it, and um, this camera is not the best camera, but it, luckily there's no blood. I'll try opening it. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why am I doing this? 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 Oh, okay. So right now, I'm just trying to show the camera. Oh, the blades fell. Just wanted to make sure there's no blood on here. Oh, come on, get off my table. I'm not wearing the right gloves for this sort of job. I should have put on the bigger gloves, but yeah, I didn't get a cut. So, so yeah, there's no blood over here. Just hair, which is disgusting. But this is going to go in the garbage pile. We don't need anything like this. Uh, triangular ruler. I don't know exactly what this is called. Isosceles, scaling triangle, I don't know. I have no idea, but I don't see any value in that. So, so far, nothing seems of value for me. This was a huge waste of money so far. The lock. As much as I should see value in this, there's really no value that I do see. Uh, now that's left side of the box. My left side of the box is done. Yeah. So left side of the box is done. Uh, I'd say I'm relatively disappointed, but it looks like the right side of the box Oh, okay, so I just have to show you how the inside of the box looks like right now without trying to move anything. I'll try pushing it down. So you can see over here, it doesn't look like anything. It's just a little paper. Once I lift the paper, look at this. There's, okay, okay, there's so much to, there, okay, <laughs> there's so much to talk about right now. I don't even know if, I'm not gonna go through the paper because I already discussed this thing, but it says, have fun. It's a game case. It just says, have fun with a smiley face written in red. Uh, and inside there is probably the most feared thing of ordering anything out of a dark web mystery box that is not body parts And it's a flash drive you guys can see over here and I'm gonna this is probably I'm gonna go through this at the end of the video I have a laptop that nobody in my house uses anymore You know I can just disconnect from the internet and whatnot and then after after just plug this into that computer Make like you know There's no credit card information that I should be worried about or whatnot, but that's interesting This is a, this I see some sort of value here so far not nothing and like nothing I want to keep you know what I mean, but something I definitely want to check out. I'm doing it for the video guys so if you made it this far into the video and I finally got a USB drive smash that like button guys again have fun USB drive next is we're gonna go through the paper it says the gentleman's guide to amputation it's okay so it's two pages long this, this is the one where it says the gentleman's guide to amputation showing very 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 classy pictures of a guy just cutting an arm off. Self-amputation. Success. Tools. It has the tools needed for self-amputation. Remove clothes from limb. I don't even know what this says. Tighten clockwise. Fasten securely. Blade must be equal to the diameter of the limb. Oh my goodness. Success. Time for a brandy. And on the bottom, literally, after the self-amputation tutorial, it says success time for a brandy i see no value in this whatsoever uh <laughs> a calculator it's cool does it work a working calculator this is something of value to me but not necessarily <laughs> let me see all of them yeah so all the digits work one two three four five six seven eight nine ten digit calculator 
something of true value to me, especially with it as a cryptocurrency channel. Um, I think I have an eight digit calculator downstairs, but a 10 digit calculator is perfect. So I see some sort of value there. So far I'm relatively disappointed and I think that I've lost a lot of money on this uh, mystery box. I think I just got it off. Of, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, so we're putting on the big gloves for this. We are putting on the big gloves for this because I just found blood. There is blood inside this box. Okay, so inside this bag right now is what it, it's a stuffed bear, stuffed animal. It's a stuffed animal and there's what it seems to be blood inside. Oh, oh, that smells really bad. Oh, that just blew right in my face. Oh my God. Oh, it's so sticky, ew. So we have a stuffed animal. I'm not putting that on my table. Um, Look at this, you can just see, what is, oh my God. It's like stuck to the bag. I don't know, if, can you guys see that? The bag is like tinted red. Oh, I think this is real. Oh, that's gross. Okay, so we'll just put that down gently. And now there's one more thing in the box and Illuminati. <laughs> you can see over here, there's a triangle with an eye. Nothing else inside the box. You can see there's nothing else inside the box. A triangle with an eye. I'm very disappointed in this box, to be completely honest. A pack of filtered cigarettes. Oh my God, I got a voodoo doll. What the hell? Are you guys seeing this? Bunch of googly eyes. I mean, googly eyes aren't creepy, but what the hell? What kind of messed up mind is this? Fifty-two googly eyes, <laughs> um, but I got a voodoo doll. I don't know where to start. I don't want to touch it with my hands. We'll start with the paper. Okay, so it so it says ID Mark Mavis. Mark Mavis. That's a name. Male. It says male under, and then it says twenty-eight, and then it says. Boston, Massachusetts. So ID, Mark Mavis, a male, the age of 28, living in Boston, Massachusetts. Mark, if you're watching this, I have your doll, bro. I don't know if someone made this doll for you. I don't know if you made this doll for yourself, but I have your voodoo doll, Mark. Okay, this is really weird, but it, it's giving me instructions. It says, do not drop the doll. Okay, it said, okay, look, there's a list under do not. So it's telling me what not to do with this doll. It says, do not drop the doll. Do not throw away the doll. Do not donate the doll. Do not rip the doll. Do not burn the doll. See below. Do not, okay, so this, that camera is dead. By the way, this camera just died. I just heard it die, but um, burn, do not burn the doll. See below. Do not get the doll wet. Do not throw cigarettes away. The owner of the doll must be very responsible. You can get rid of the doll by ritual. And then in brackets, it says burning the doll with whiskey aged 12 plus years. How the hell am I supposed to get my hands on 12 year old whiskey? Selling the doll. You can get rid of the doll by selling the doll. Oh, oh, this son of a, he got me. He sold me a mystery box with all this unnecessary bull crap inside and there's a voodoo doll. How do I get rid of it? I have to sell the doll now? Who the hell's gonna buy a voodoo doll off me? Loopholes, loopholes. Bleaching the doll for 72 hours will remove blood and destroy particles in hair. What do you mean blood and hair? Oh my God, the doll has blood and hair on it. Oh my God, there's blood in here. Guys, there's real hair on this doll. Ew, there's nails on it. There's nails on it. Ew, somebody's nails are on this doll. There's no needles inside it. That's, that's a good sign, but there's a whole bunch of needles over here. Okay, okay, okay. So loopholes. Bleaching the doll for 72 hours will remove the blood and destroy particles in hair. It can be sold with other items like a garage sale, an auction, or a box of random goods. This guy figured out a loophole, got rid of this voodoo doll and put it in my hands. I have a voodoo doll now and I'm supposed to get rid of it by either bleaching the doll for 72 hours will remove the blood and destroy particles in hair or I can sell it with other items as if a garage sale, an auction or a box of random goods. Or I can burn the doll with whiskey which is aged for more than 12 years. No man, 
No, no. It says, do not drop the doll. Don't drop the doll. And I already, I already, oh my God. Now it, now there's another section where it says, this camera is dead and I'm, I, you know, I try showing it to this camera all the time, but it says using the cigarettes. Now on the pack of cigarettes, it says, be creative on the pack of cigarettes. As if this person didn't get creative enough already. Using the cigarettes, quarter of the cigarettes means 24 to 48 hour duration. Half of the cigarette means one to two weeks duration. Three quarters of the cigarette means one to two months duration. The whole entire cigarette means one year or X. What does this even mean? What do you mean using the cigarettes? What if I, s okay. Okay, we're gonna open the pack of cigarettes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the cigarettes are labeled colorfully, color coded. And then when you open the pack over here, it says light careful. I don't get it. I'm not like I'm not lighting any of these cigarettes. I'm uh, probably blazed with like alcohol or something or probably going to set my house on fire. But there's one in here that's labeled so all of these are color coded and there's one in here that looks like the number 1. Oh my god, the cigarettes have writing on them. It says hello on number 1. Okay, I'm going to take out I'm going to take out purple. Let's take out all the purple ones. Okay, so we have one purple one here. This one is on this cigarette, it says lonely. I wish this camera was still alive. On this cigarette, it says sadness. This cigarette says anxiety. This cigarette says hatred. <laughs> this cigarette says nightmares. This cigarette says depression. And purple was just very depressing. Now we're gonna take out yellow. Now first one is cold or cough. Second one is vision loss. That sucks. E C Z E M A eczema 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 dry cough. Then we have a red one. We have a bunch of red ones. So we have heart attack. Heart attack. There's a cigarette that says heart attack. One says severe. Okay, so this one here says severe, and then like a line, and it says migraine. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna take our next red one. This one says cancer, as if cigarettes don't give you cancer already. This one says stroke. And now there's a blue one. This one says good luck on it. We have one blue cigarette in here that says good luck with a star. There's one last cigarette in here and it's marked not color quoted, but it has an X on it. And it says death on this cigarette. How do I get rid of these things? Seems to me there's a bunch of glass vial bags, but this looks like chili this looks like chili over here so you guys tell me what the heck chili means in the description box i don't know if it's it is it is even chili maybe it's something else then there's a green herbal here in this glass jar and then we have another glass jar with is that weed guys <laughs> look at this jar look inside here it's it's this guy sent me weed I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but I just opened one of these vials and I smelt one of these vials. It has a complete marijuana smell to it. I don't know, is that like a ritual meaning to it? I don't know if marijuana has any ritual meaning to it. Bunch of cotton balls and colorful thumbtacks. Now, that's it for the video, guys. That's all I had inside this mystery box, but, and th this is what my theory is. That's it. I'm gonna be plugging this into my computer right after this. Don't leave the video yet. Do not leave the video yet because I still have this part of the video to go through um, where I go through all the files on the USB drive at the end of the video. But basically what I think so far is this person just packed me a whole bunch of junk to sell it for 150 to $200 and just to get rid of this voodoo doll. Because right now, as a loophole, it says this could be sold with other items as if it's a garage sale, an auction, or a box of random goods and he sold me a mystery box a box of random goods that had a voodoo doll in it that he he just wanted to get rid of for some weird reason he didn't want to be the person that's responsible for this doll now i'm the person that's responsible for this freaking voodoo doll i have to figure out what to do with it i have to figure out how i have to get rid of this voodoo doll and i need some help from you guys honestly because i don't want to sell it to somebody and make their life a living hell i, I don't want to burn it because it says do not do not burn the doll and it says you could burn it with aged whiskey aged more than 12 years but it says don't drop the doll don't throw away the doll, do not donate the doll, do not rip the doll, do not burn the doll, and then it says see below, and then it says do not get the doll wet, my goodness, or do not throw the cigarettes away. And I just literally took all the cigarettes and threw them on my table. So I'm gonna be <laughs> packing these back in. I'm gonna be figuring out a way to get rid of this mystery box, guys, because I really, 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 really don't want this voodoo doll. I don't want anything to do with this voodoo doll. I, like, you know, I really believe in this type of stuff, and if I, like, drop it, like, what, does the guy break his back if I drop the voodoo doll? If I, if I light one of these cigarettes, 
are these effects going to be on him? Um, Mr. Mark Mavis, if you're watching this video, anybody in Mark Mavis in Boston, Massachusetts, if you're watching this video, if this is your voodoo doll, figure out a way to get rid of this. But if somebody made you a voodoo doll, then figure out who has a death wish on you because this person really hates your guts. Somebody made a voodoo doll uh, in your name and literally has the worst possible sicknesses on a cigarette. Wow. Now, I guess it's time to go see what's on this. I, I really, really, really need to start doing some research on how to get rid of these properly. Burning it with aged whiskey, aged more than 12 years. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna photocopy this for you guys. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I'll, I'll leave it as a link in the description to like a Google document, but it's, there's literally like tips, not tips, like step-by-step -step guides on how to maintain this doll. Wow, Um, that's, Traumatizing. I, I really, really did not want to see anything close to a voodoo doll. I mean, I did order a mystery box, but I, I thought I was gonna be getting like subliminal messages. You know what I mean? I thought I was gonna be getting like, like the last one I did, somebody sent me a whole bunch of messages and insinuating they did something, but now they sent me literally most likely what is a cursed object. A cursed object. Do I really wanna be in the hands of this? There's nails on this thing. Look at this. There is literally nails on this doll. There's blood on the back. This is creepy. This is creepy. Look, there's nails on both hands and both feet. And there's hair. There's hair. Anyways, that's enough with the voodoo doll. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna be doing with this. Um, I have to make sure I keep in very like keep this in very good hands because I don't want to drop it and hurt anybody. Um, put everything back inside the way it was. All right, guys, let's go to the computer. Let's go to the old laptop and plug this into the old laptop. I'll record it. If you guys made it this far into the video, uh, smash that like button, guys. I got cursed with a voodoo doll. I got cursed with a voodoo doll. I mean, if a like button isn't enough, <laughs> I got cursed with a voodoo doll. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Let's get this started. All right, so we have the USB drive. This is the case, you open it, and it's an SD card, a little mini SD card. So this computer over here, oh, I have to disconnect from the internet just to prevent myself from getting any attacks. So we're disconnected from the internet. Hope you guys can see. I'm gonna go on airplane mode just in case to get any extra connections off like Bluetooth or whatnot. Um, and now let's, let's get started. Wish me some luck. So let's see what's about to happen. Not, nothing's happening. Nothing's opening. How many gigabytes is this thing? Oh, 256 gigabytes? A 256 gigabyte SD card? What the hell? That's that's not even normal. Hold on, let me see. I think I put it on lock. I really, really want to... Why isn't it opening? The recovery D file over here, it says it's 20 gigabytes. Oh, here we go, the SD card open. I got it. So let's see if it's actually... Look at this 250 gigabytes. It's actually 250 gigabytes. This guy's not even joking. Okay, so there's a folder called messages. And when I open up the folder called messages, the first thing that, that like it's on the top of the list, it says, do not open. Z, 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 do not open. And then, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna open that. We'll, we'll if anything, I'll save that till the end. Um, then there's message X and there's read me first. So we'll open the one that says read me first. Ah, oh, okay. Um, let's play a game. In each SHA-256 output is the following information with no spaces at all. First name, example, John. Last name, Doe. Oh, John Doe, you know, pretty much nobody. John Doe means nobody. Last place seen, example, Walmart, <laughs> date, M-N-D-D-Y-Y. April 4th, 2018, time, H-H-M-M-S-S-P-M. -S oh, time, a.m. or p.m. So example, 12.28 p.m. While trying, to de while trying to decode, do not put any spaces. Examples above for input. John Doe, Walmart, 04042018. What am I looking at? <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see, I get it, I get it now. So basically, if you take this input and you put it in SHA-256, so if you guys don't know what SHA-256 is, it's basically an encryption method 
for what I believe, because you know, I'm, I'm a cryptocurrency YouTuber and I know what SHA-256 is. Basically, it's an encryption method. You give it an input and it gives you an output, any specific output. Like if you type in a hello world, it will give you an output for hello, hello world. And if you put the H, a capital letter, it will completely change the output. Basically, SHA-256 is one way only. Like, like there's no possible way to decrypt any output. So if you take a look at any output for SHA-256, like it's a whole bunch of string of letters, but you cannot reverse that into what it was before. You only could take a certain string of letters and then you can encrypt that so basically he's saying that the input was this is the input over here if you guys can see the screen John Doe Walmart 0404 2018 12 28 p.m. that's that's the string and that out the output of this shot 256 is this long string right here now if I if you didn't know what this was if you didn't know John Doe Walmart 04 if I if this wasn't written here and he just wrote down this output then basically you are never, it's the chances of figuring out what this output was, like, it's impossible. So um, that's what SHA-256 is, I don't know what it has to do with this video, but decode the outputs and get me in prison. What? <laughs> it literally says decode the outputs and get me in prison. Message X. Again, we have coordinates, what well, looks like a coordinates, 42.093693. Negative 74.112889. And now these these look like 42 and the 74 and 42 and the 74 but the digit like the decimal numbers are all different digits these are leading me to believe that these are all around the same area uh, to be completely honest i have no internet right now plugged into this computer so if you guys want you guys can take a look at all of these coordinates on google maps but right now i can't take a look because i am definitely not going to connect my wi-fi right now just to protect myself you guys can take a look uh, it's all on the screen right now i'll leave these in the description if i get a chance to remember and then SHA-256 message number one. Oh, oh, you see, so... It told, okay, so I, I get what this, I, I get what the game is now. This guy's trying to play some weird game to get himself in prison, if we can do this, but... It says, read me first, and read me first, I'm gonna open that up again. This is the game. The game is we have to guess the first name, we have to guess the last name, we have to guess the last place where they were seen, we have to guess the date, 2018, so I guess this is the date they were last seen, and then the time they were last seen. So basically, this example would be John Doe was last seen at Walmart on April 4th, 2018 at 12.28 p.m. So that's the input, and then that's the output that came out. So I'm going to show you how hard SHA-256 is. It's so hard that I'm going to look you guys dead in the camera, dead in the eyes right now, and I'm going to say, decrypt that, because I can't, and if you guys can, then we can get this guy in prison, but basically his game is, is just a sick twisted game that we, we can't win, you know what I mean? Look, shot message number two, again, another first and last name. It's a different one than the first one. Message number three, again, different than the one before. Message number four, message number five. What just happened? Did you guys see that? 